super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anna D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, and Sam Adina for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to the next I War of the Walkers mod. So, I went and cleared a ton of trees. I'll show you guys that now. And also, I went and looked at my computer. There was 90 gigabytes being taken up by a game that I didn't even remember installing. So, um, now that my CPU or rather my um, SSD is more clean, hopefully it's not going to lag as much. Uh, but just to make sure it's not the trees. Um, yeah, deforestation is real, people. <laughs> um, basically, I just spent my fire axe, my legendary fire axe, and I just power attacked most trees. Most trees were power attack one shot and gone. Some of them, the big ones with 1.2k HP, were a little bit tougher, unfortunately. But yeah, anyways, um, we still have to make tungsten weapons. I actually went through a ton of these quests over already. Resources, we need to just grab the stuff. We should have actually all of that. Um, melee weapons, we need to make tungsten stuff now. Already made all the steel clubs, spears, that stuff. Medical, we should be able to make. And then guns over here. I need to make an SMG, sniper rifle, compound, rocket launcher, auto. I can make all this stuff. Now, I do have frames over here, so it doesn't auto complete. So we're going to do this quickly. Sniper rifle and SMG. Okay. So it's one of everything that's crafting here. We have five minutes to do what I want to do uh, right now. As you guys can see, the quality of our stuff is really crappy, the stuff that we're crafting. But it's because I haven't really invested in those skills yet. Uh, I wonder what requires a tungsten spear and stuff. Tungsten club. Yeah, we need clubs, tungsten schematic. Yeah, we need all of this stuff. Oh, some of the stuff we can actually make already. But that's going to require tungsten machete parts, and we first have to make those. So unfortunately, that's a no-go for now. Um, what I think I'm going to do, let's use the workbench for this. I'm going to go and scrap a ton of stuff. Okay, so, um, let's scrap the quality, scrap the quality. I can scrap 10 things right now. I'm going to go for guns first. I know there's enough space. Okay. Um, that should be enough space. And then there's melee stuff over here that I want to scrap as well. Unfortunately, these just aren't worth selling. Well, wait, no, 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 no. That's not true. That can actually sell for 1.4, and the other one sells 1.4. These all sell for like under 100. So the really crappy ones I'm going to scrap, and the other ones I'll keep. Steel baseball bats, crappy. Okay, anyways, while those are scrapping, we're going to put a few things away. Um, we are still going to face the horde at our current horde base, guys. It's just going to take too long to make a new one. Um, after we face the horde, the day 84 horde, um, I want to come back, grab all a ton of stuff, and immediately go build my stuff. Um, unfortunately, we've just been doing too many quests and looting stuff over here. We don't have time. Also, I made three too many. My armor already had these pieces on. I should have probably made sure before I actually started um, making or using them. Okay, so these we sell. That's miscellaneous. I uh, need to make sure what we keep, what we drop. Shotgun is reloaded. Yes. Okay, and also I found one... Um, I found the last Magnum book while we were outside. For some reason, these ladies were stay staying here. And all of a sudden, they were with me over there. And one of them killed a zombie that actually had the Magnum Enforcer book. Unfortunately, I still need both pistol books. And I just can't find it. I'm really, really unlucky when it comes to it. I just need that book. Okay, um, cash. Let's just do this. Grab off. This is automatic. Okay. And then, yeah, we need to drop these over here. Miscellaneous is on this side. I'm so used to miscellaneous being on the far right. Now it's not anymore, so it feels so weird. Okay, and if we do that and we sort, that should be 10 slots that we can lock like so. 10 slots. Food, water, doing okay enough. This our water and food is like 400. Oh no, that was a waste. It only reaches 400, so that was a massive waste. Um, yeah, guys, I need to invest more skills over here. Um, we can finally, finally get the greater speed. I just need a skill point for it. I had to use my skill points on other recipes and stuff. And then also we can get more XP, more headshot damage, more parts and stuff we can craft. We just need to level now. All the ladies are on me. I was literally just running around the whole old night, uh, or whole night, the whole night long. Just getting all of that stuff over there. Okay, so I want to quickly go to this other horde base and just make sure it is done already for the horde. So what I'm going to do is something that might be a little bit dumb. I'm going to grab that. We need a repair tool. And then we need TNT. Explosives. I'll show you guys why we're going to do that now. I'm going to try this first. 
And then I'm gonna take some TNT with. I just gonna tweak the base a little bit so that fits our play style a bit. And I'm taking more cash with me. You can see a wolf ran over these. I'm gonna take more cash with me. Or um yeah, I'll take cash with me so I can get more of these ladies if we run into them. The chance of uh, us running into them is actually really, really low, but I mean, I'm just still gonna try. If we can manage to run into some of these, uh, well, more of these ladies, that's gonna be awesome. It is this direction, right? No. As you can see, we killed a few bears and wolves and stuff during the night as well. I need to kill like 200 and something. I, I don't know how I'm, I'm gonna kill that many. I've driven past so many uh, bears and wolves and pigs and stuff that I could have killed for the quest and just never did. And unfortunately, zombie variants don't count. It's only the actual... I wonder if they can kill these uh, bats. Are you mine? Oh no, these are Nan and Nan. Oh god, this whole night's gonna be a little bit different. Oh yeah, I, I let them go. I'm only I now only have these military ladies. Okay, what I want to do is either destroy the stairs or build the stairs. Let's just build them. I want to fill this up at the back so we don't have zombies coming from be uh, behind over here. I only want zombies from this side. So we can throw a ton of grenades and stuff. Uh, I should probably make sure we have all of this repaired. I'm just glad I don't have Portland Cement or something on me because just now we waste it. If ever we are going to use Portland Cement, it's going to be on the new base. So yeah, guys, I know I said that we're going to be facing the new horde or the, the base. Yeah, I opened this up for them. I know I said that we're going to be facing the um, the 84 horde at the new base, but I just decided, you know what? This is going to be faster just setting this up, and then as we have time, we'll slowly but surely start to build at the other place. Do we just make sure the zombies can't climb this? Like so. Um, yeah, you guys are going to be a problem. It's like they just have to be next to us. Yeah, I'm wasting a bit of concrete over here to do this now. Come on, kill a doggy. My sensors have picked up something. I was about to say, do you really not see that dog? He's right there. Okay, and then we can actually make this a little bit wider. How long did it take you to kill one dog? Damn. Okay, unfortunately... Okay, we can fill this up with normal wood. And on top of that, we can put concrete. Come on, ladies. You are so annoying. Every single animal I see, I have to try and kill. I need to stand back so they don't think I'm going to have to... Every time I walk into a hole, they walk into a hole. So I need to be careful of that. Okay, hopefully this stops them from digging a bit more of the earth. The more crops explode, the worse it gets for us. So we need to make sure as little, as few as possible of them can explode over here. Okay, that cobble, unfortunately I didn't bring that with me, so we're going to have to remove these. At least we have the legendary pick, and it's going to be easy enough just to do that. Boom. This side, yeah, I'm just going to leave this as is. This we can fill in with concrete, just to make sure they don't explode anymore. We don't want any crops or anything going underneath the defenses over here. Because if they then explode and take the stairs and everything with them, we have a problem. Uh, oh, there was actually a hole over there, damn. Yeah. We'll just do this. Okay, now, uh, for the stairs. Probably gonna have to get rid of you quickly. I'm gonna make the stairs a little bit wider to make sure as many zombies as possible can make it up. Remember, now that we took it uh, away on the side of here. Man, I'm wasting so much concrete right now. Unfortunately, now that we took this backside away, most of them have to use the stairs of here. So we have to also make sure they don't... Um, they, they don't make too much of a bottleneck over here, so we're going to have to do this as well. For a moment, I thought these ladies were... Uh, when I just saw the one, I thought it was Nightingale. Because we lost her somewhere, and I have no idea where. Okay, you guys come here. These ones actually, you can see their security because they're more on me than the nurses ever were. The nurses used to trail uh, trail behind me for a bit. Okay, even if they climb here, at least we'll be able to more or less hit them. But I want to do this time around. That's why I brought these time charges. Is I want to try and see if this works. It does block damage, so it's supposed to do damage to that thing. Let's see, let's see. Move lady. 
kind of the damage. Let's try that again. Okay, move. Okay, there's a drop, but it's outside the wasteland. Man, that was an explosion just now. Damn. Okay, so yeah, it seems these do not really do that much damage. I want to make a window over here. So that if the ladies fall down again, we can actually see them better. So it's going to be a little bit wider over here for the zombies to get through or to see through. But it's going to allow the ladies to also help me shoot a bit if they wanted to. I can actually open up this block as well. We don't have to worry too much. If they can see through here and shoot and see through here and shoot, that's going to help tremendously. We can actually now also just go and do this. And then we just have to put one block there so the zombies can still crawl through. But at least now if the ladies come over here, we're going to have help. Um, I'm thinking of keeping these here, but replacing them with like plates or something. That way we can at least have a little bit more of a view of the zombies downstairs. Um, also, I wonder if there's half bars. Look at that, damn it, that one fell. Uh, the reason I'm asking for half bars is the fact that I want to have a more of a view over here. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. So if I go and I do that... Okay. So we now have this. I want to be able to throw Molotovs and stuff through here as well. So I might just have to open that hole up. I want half a bar of here. So instead of four bars, only two. So it's easier to just have a little bit of bigger window, but you can also still throw in a ton of zombies. I might just have to have a turret or something at the back pointed that way. Or in case a spider jumps through here. You see, I just need to be able to throw Molotovs and grenades and stuff down there. I should probably make sure there's a reinforcement over here as well. If this breaks during Horde Night, we have a major problem. And these hordes are getting more dangerous and more dangerous by the day, so we have to be very, very careful. Now, these haven't really taken damage. Guys, when we start making our own horde base, it's going to be built like this on pillars, but way, way bigger. Okay, now the reason I brought TNT with me... I'm just going to jump, 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 jump. I want to make this room bigger. Because these ladies um, don't really like... I was wonder wondering what the hell you're firing at. There. During Horde Night, the ladies didn't want to stick up top. So what I want to do is I want to give them a bigger chance to fight. A bigger room to fight in. So I'm going to do that. Oh, come on, let me just jump to the back. Then again, we can't get to the very top like this, can we? No. Um, I'm going to have to add a temporary ladder for now. Oh, you know what? We can actually keep it like this. Just jump up. Jump up. Jump up. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this... I'm not going to put a roof on because we haven't seen any birds yet. But I'm going to destroy this over here. Um, I'm actually thinking of destroying the whole room. So we do this. Oh, I need to get away. I don't want to be... Okay, I can actually just fall through there when I, if I have to. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to throw one, two, pull the pin. Crouch. Oh crap. Out you go, out you go, out you go. Nice. That did a ton of damage just now for us, so we don't have to dig too much. I just want to make the walls a bit wider as well. Every time I move, sometimes the textures change in the distance. It makes it look like there's something there waiting for us. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to have to destroy these as well now because they took damage and we don't have any cobble on us. But that doesn't matter. At least, as long as we can just quickly get some... A big, just a little bit of a bigger room over here. I'm going to make it so that it hangs a little bit out over the sides as well. So the zombies, or the ladies can see the zombies down below. They don't have to worry about angles and stuff. I think that's why the Burns officer, um, Officer Burns over there, she, during a horde night, fell down to me. They didn't destroy any of the bars, nothing. She just decided to fall down to me. It's a shame that I have to do that much, this much damage now. It seems the TNT didn't explode in this direction. At least we have stamina, guys. I'm doing power attacks right now, and we're barely running out of stamina at all. Okay. So I have to make this bigger. We do have this over here. I need to make sure that the explosion didn't do any damage down here. Hello, Jackson. 
I really hope we find one, uh, one more of this. Uh, I don't know I have too many of these ladies, but they are epic, so the more the merrier. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some bars in so they can see through the floor, like last time. I'm going to go for advanced rotation. We need it on the roof. So it's basically almost going to be exactly the same, except it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, the only problems we face at the moment is the fact that that floor can be destroyed. The full block. If they destroy the full block, they'll still be able to fall out and attack the zombies head on. And I'm just afraid they're going to die if they do that. I also want to have a proper way for them to get in and out. So I'm not going to put a roof on this at all. And then I'm going to make a use of temporary ladders at the back of here to let them in. It's going to be much easier for me that way to actually let them back into this place. Okay, um, I'm going to do this as well. I need to think now how I'm going to do this. Okay, and then on the sides of here as well. It needs to go about two over. I just hope they don't f uh, glitch through to the ground to try and kill the zombies. Because then we lose all of the ladies. He just went around. Oopsie. Okay, we should be able to do it from over here. And temp block. Okay. This way, the ladies will be able to go and stand on the corners of here and look down as well. Because sometimes they shoot through this block to try and see zombies. But if they can actually stand here, they'll, they won't be as inclined to go and destroy those. At the back, I'm not going to do it. Because at the back, I want to be able to put a ladder over to let, let, have them come in. Unfortunately, you can't do the trick where you put the vehicle down and have them pop up to you. Because as soon as you climb off the vehicle, they just pop back to where they were in the first place. Okay, so now we have to go for bars. Uh, and I think catwalks, yeah. We do this. And that. Okay, now we just do a two high. No, let's do a three high. I'm just afraid they're going to stand on each other's heads and jump over. They're clever enough to do it. As long as there's no roof, then uh, uh, that's okay. I just don't want them falling down there while there's a ward. But if they stand on each other's heads to jump over this wall, they might actually be clever enough to do that. And then we lose these ladies, and it's three, it's only 3,000 dukes to get them, but it's hard to find them over here. You think they're abundant in this biome, but they're not. Okay, we'll do this side first. It's nice when you actually pop up here on your own. I don't have to go look for you. See, on the inside, we can put a ladder to get them out. And on the outside, we can put a ladder, a temporary ladder to get them in. As soon as they're in, you just remove the temporary ladder, and they're in. They can't get out. And then once you want them out, you can just decide, okay, I'll put the ladder back down and they can get out that way. I'm actually thinking of doing a fourth layer. It's a shame that I'm just using so much concrete right now. I could have just as well built my new ward base. The nice thing is we do have a ton of steel blocks uh, that we can use, so that's going to be awesome. Our new base is going to be way more reinforced. The pillars where the zombies can hit, um, the entryway where the zombies can be, all of that's going to be steel. I wonder if I should go for that fourth block. I already misplaced one block. But it's just resources, resources, resources. See, now they can stand over here and they can shoot down at the zombies wherever they like. I just hope they don't stand here and they glitch to the ground. Because when we go into big pure eyes, what ends up happening is these ladies fall through the floor and get stuck downstairs. Um, so if they die, unfortunately then they die. I'm not going to go out there and protect them from death. Because then I'm going to die. <laughs> Okay, so the ladder over here we can actually put in. This ladder doesn't matter. Um, we go like this, we go like this. The reason I say this ladder doesn't matter is because the zombies from downstairs can't reach it anyways. I'm just putting it here so that when the ladies climb up, I just put a few ladders down there. I put the ladders over here. And then they come up and they climb in with me. All I have to do is do this and they jump into this pit with me. And it's nice and big now so they should follow me quite nicely. I actually want to see now if I do this, if they're actually going to follow me or not. So we do this. We do this. Let's let them teleport down to me. Okay, now, all three of you are here, right? Stand behind me over here. Climb up here with me. Come on. No, climb up here. Where, where are you going? I 
I want them to TP to me. Do you know how long it takes for them to actually decide they want to teleport? Like, they get stuck, they get stuck, they get stuck, and all of a sudden they pop up to you. So I have to stand here a whole Ingham hour before the Horde. I have a ladder put up and everything. Why don't you want to join me? That's weird. They only want to go... Well, it's a good thing because it means the zombies will part that way if they part that way. But it's going to be such a pain getting them up here. So I have to stand right in front of them. And you see how she's running, 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 running. She's going to decide, oh, she can't make it. And all of a sudden, she's up here with me. But it takes a while for them to actually pop in here with us. Okay. Anyways, let's really grab the other block. Um, why are you zombies? No, that's just another lady. And she popped past me. Come on, climb this ladder. Yes, there you go. There you go. Climb it. Climb it. Do they not know how to climb ladders? I might just have to make a staircase up. Okay, let's make a staircase then, because it seems you guys are too dumb to climb a ladder. Um, okay, you need to move. Move, move, move. What if I do this then? I just hope the zombies don't somehow find this and jump up here. That is gonna be horrible. Nope. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay, I can't jump that high, unfortunately. Okay, we do this, we do this. And now I can actually even put stairs here if that's not easy enough for you guys. So we go with the staircase. Boom, 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 and in. I swear, if they still can't get in over here, then I'm gonna freak. Why don't you want to climb the ladder? I don't get it. The ladder's right here. It's all the way touching the floor and everything. Is it because it's not a stable ladder? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Damn. These ladies are just too dumb. What I could do is I could just make this a bigger hole at the back of here. So if they teleport in here with me somehow, at least I'll be able to get them out a little bit more. So I need to make a hole over here, for example. So that way they can actually get up here where they need to walk and walk up. I just, if a zombie gets in, I'm screwed then. That's a big problem. Okay, so you guys are too dumb to do this. They just go back to the base then at least the base is set up so we don't have to worry too much um oh i wanted to take storage with me as well what i want to do is i want to put storage at the back of here where the zombies don't vomit so what i want to do is this i'm gonna put in like so i'm gonna do this and then we have one two three storages like so but the big oh come on one oh yeah still fine that's still fine um, it's going to be those big, extra-large, writable storages. I'm going to put in right here. And I'm going to put hatches in front. Now I'm going to do this so the zombies don't easily see what's going on over here. Yeah, so the hatches, uh, the uh, box is going to be there, there, and there. And then we just have to make sure that the zombies can't see the boxes too easily. So they don't go and explode on it and vomit at it. And we just put the hatches in front of it, and the boxes should be safe for all night. That way we don't have to rely on these small ones, because these are just medium chests. They're not large or extra large. The extra large ones are going to come over here at the back. So we just have to run here. See, okay, I'm, I'm going to have to do this after all night. So we can actually just get the same level as the boxes, and then voila. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Enough dilly-dallying. Let's get back to the base. It's just a shame these uh, NPCs aren't really that clever. I mean, they're really, really clever when it comes to killing zombies and getting on your nerve. Like, getting in your way and stuff. But when you really need them to climb a ladder or something, they just say, nope, screw it. Okay, I need to be careful. There's so many traps over here, I might accidentally end up going on the, uh, the traps myself. I need to remove all of them. I just wanted to do that for the one quest, and now that it's done, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, so the rocket launcher should be done. Uh, we can actually put the rocket launcher in there. I just wanted to make sure it's on us. Now we have to wait another five minutes for that gun. 
I should have. I thought it was going to be way faster than we uh, were. I thought it was just going to be a quick in and out, repairing the base and stuff, but it was way, way longer. Okay. Um. Cool. 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 Let's put that over there. I'm going to scrap this actually, and put the rest under miscellaneous. We actually have quite a bit of. We can do this one. Um. Uh, it requires that. I think oil. Let me just make sure quickly. There's a quest over here for resources. Sewing kits and bone. I think I used up all the bones. Okay, yeah, I used up all the bones. I need more bones. So I need to go either skin some animals or... We actually passed a ton of animals that the NPCs killed. So I could just go and quickly skin those. Okay, and then this is medical and we can go. I just really want to go get that drop over here. Who knows what's in it? So hopefully something good. What the hell? My character just completely jumped off the bike for some reason. But yeah, um, now at least we have a ton of stuff crafting ready. Wonder, are there any animals around here? If I can quickly get those bones and get that quest done, I'm slowly but surely trying to see if we can't clear that quest. Or clear that list. Uh, just pass the drop for some reason. Okay, while I'm here, let's just quickly wrench this. I have no idea why I even just missed that. Okay, let's go. I need to level up now. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten... Oh yeah, I need to go to the trader and see if they have any explosives and stuff for us. We need explosives like crazy. Next horde, we're going to use um, 762 mostly. And that's not good. <laughs> uh, the explosives work way better with this uh, base design. Okay, uh, right, glasses... Are you kidding me? That's it. You know what? Um, the bears. I wonder if the bears are still here. If we can quickly get a corpse from uh, one of the bears over here, we might be able to get some bone from that. That's if the corpse hasn't despawned yet. Please. Yes, there's a bear. No, that's a stone. I thought it was a corpse just now. Yeah, piggy, 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 piggy. Wait, did I not get any bones from you just now? What? I thought corpses gave bones as well. Or was it just the gore blocks? Oh, it does give bones. There you go. I was about to say, what? Oh, where's that one bear? There's a nice big bear corpse lying around over here somewhere. There's actually a few bears and stuff that died. I think they might have either started despawning or did... What's the chances of driving over two bunnies? But they might have actually despawned or I'm just looking on the wrong side. I think they're on that side over there. There's bunnies all over. I actually wish that if you hit the bunny with your bike, that it actually counted as your kill. Because I've actually driven into so many wolves and bears and stuff already and killed them that way. Okay, we should definitely have enough bones right now. We got the quest. Unfortunately, it was a really big bust. I'm hoping a wandering ward comes by over here. I want to test all these traps out on them. Because it feels so weird being able to move this fast. And it's just because of that uh, diamond armor, or the silver armor. Okay, um... Bones, resources, it's over here. So we need... This. Okay. What else do we need for resources right now? Resources... Oh, now how far this can go? Cobblestone, 500. Yeah. I can actually uh, active, uh, activate this one. Uh, cement, 500. I think we actually used up all the cement, so we can't do this one. Right? No, we do. Nice. And then concrete next, 500. Easy enough. Wait, no, 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 no. Uh, we don't have concrete mix. That's the one thing we don't have. Did I make concrete mix and I forgot about it? Please tell me yes. I think so. Yes. Uh -huh. There you go. Another quest done. Coal, nitrate, and gunpowder. We definitely have gunpowder. We can actually even do this, guys. You don't have to keep it on you. You do this. It counts already. Now you need gunpowder and coal. Or uh, coal and nitrate. We're getting XP right now just from doing this. Explosives and turps. Okay. Uh, do this. Casings and turps. 
oil and paint. Paint we should have. And oil... Oil is this over here, right? I don't think we have 500 oil. Let me test it. We actually had 500... Whoa! We had 500 oil. Okay, twine 20. Household chemicals, we have that as well. Let me actually do this. Uh, 50 Kevlar. We actually have Kevlar. Nice, there you go. <laughs> we just stacked up some coins. Uh, forged tungsten, that we do not have that much of. I think we have like 300 and something. Or yeah, 200. Okay, so we have to stop there, but that was a good going. Damn. It felt like I was never going to stop. Every time it asked me for something, I had it. Okay, vehicle parts and mods go over there. Nice, that actually cleared me out nicely. Food and medical and stuff goes over here. And the other gun should be done already as well, the M60. Unfortunately, the stuff I'm crafting right now is really crap quality. But it's for the quest, so I have to cra uh, craft it. Three minutes something, and that one will be done as well. I don't want to keep the guns and stuff on me, so I'll rather drop it back in the workbench. Knowing that it's not going to ever get used, or it's not going to get in the way or something. Okay, uh, explosives go over here. Building supplies go over here. I'm going to put the cement in there as well, why not? Coin we can put away. This is auto weapons. I want to see exactly what other quests we can do right now. I think we've done most of them. And then we have so much stuff over here we can sell. I can't wait. We just need some grandpa's awesome tools to make sure we get the best. Okay, let's see. We have one skill point, so let's go for... Wow, I'm going to be able to move faster. Let's go for the XP first. With that, obviously, we're going to get faster XP and do that again faster. Resource gathering part 17. Guys, I don't think these quests end. The ones with numbers behind them don't end. Apple Chef, that's a quest on its own. Gun progression, even this one, I don't think... As soon as those are done, it should end, but I'm really doubting it right now. The fact that get resource gathering is 17 already. Medical progression, how do you craft vitamins? Vitamins. Vitamin A, we need zinc. And chrysanthemum. I think we have zinc. Zinc. And chrysanthemum is under farming. Whether we have enough is a different question. Okay, so that's vitamin A. Vitamin B is yucca fruit. B, some have all the stuff required. I don't want to start a quest halfway and then stop. It doesn't look like we have yucca. Why not, though? I could have sworn we did. No, we don't. Okay, so I'm not even going to start with it if you can't finish it. That is medical. Melee weapons, that's tungsten. We can't do that right now. Uh, steel machete master. Kill three zombies using the steel machete. Oh no! Uh, okay, we, I think we do have a... Hopefully we have a steel machete. Because I scrapped all the stuff we made. Steel, 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 machete, machete, machete. Steel spear. Normal machete. I'm going to have to make a new steer... Mach uh, steer. Steel machete just for that. Unless I can get lucky and buy a crappy one from one of these. Damn, I should have paid better attention. Okay, let me just make sure we have enough cash on us if we get something good over here. I need to check for explosives and stuff as well. So if you see that, we need to buy it. Okay, tungsten parts. Yes, we know we're going to need it. Uh, sword, no. Gold tip, no. Tungsten parts, yes. Anything to do with tungsten, basically. Tungsten baseball, but now we have to craft that one. It doesn't help us buying it. We need to craft it. Uh, let's see uh, quickly. No yucca. Uh, just one second, guys. Okay, we can, we can keep going next time. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Comments, tips, or feedback, leave them down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please make the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Walk the Walkers fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.